Hey everybody, Lavelle from Lavelle.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a pan background in Flipbook 6, also known as a loop background. I'm not talking about the pan you see here though, that's just my background. Alright, so I'll show you what it's actually going to look like at the end result. See, you'd see someone running in the middle. And basically, here's the last image, and here's the first image. And all in between, are a bunch of other backgrounds I basically put together in Photoshop. And normally you'd want to have a very big image and then be able to just have it go right by, loop by, and then the beginning of the image and the end of the image should be the same. So let's open up Flipbook here. I'm going to create a new scene, 107 frames and two levels. So here's an empty Flipbook workstation. So first thing, going to import that background. Import. Done. And it adds it right here. So in order to make it pan, you're going to have to make it panable. So you click right here, then you click on here, and it adds a little triangle up there. So then you know it's panable. So I'm going to want to make this go all the way to 35 to the end of the image. So go down to number 35 here, right here. Click pan again, and it did it. It actually jumps back up to 1. But if you click here, it goes down here to 34, and it shows you that it, it was it's now panable. So what we're going to do is that for the first one, make sure it's aligned to the top left there. Okay. Go to the frame 34 and just slide it all the way over. So as you can see, the beginning of the image is also the end of the image here. So, And we can also go back here and watch it go by as a regular pan. Now we're going to make it pan again. So go to 35, hit pan, go back and it is now on 35. So the thing about this though is that it's still at the end. So you gotta bring it all the way back to here. But if you do it like this, you'd get a delay or it would hold it for two frames. So you wanna actually move that over a little bit so it doesn't actually hold the same image for two frames. So now we'll keep continuously going. So now let's go down to 71, which is in our 35 frames. 71, right there. And hit pan, and there you go. It's at 71. So now we're going to want to pan this all the way over again. And align that right about there. And we've just made it pan twice. Let's go back and let's play it. First pan, second pan. Watch it again. First pan, second pan. It's easy as that. You can just keep doing it for as many frames as you want, as long as you want. Just have it going over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Lavelle from LavelleLee.com.